What's up, y'all? Texas Rob here with Kansas Whiskey Drinkers. I got Brian B Jack via FaceTime. What's up, B Jack? What's up? So today we got a video. We haven't made a video out in a while. I know we're pretty slacky, but we're real busy and we just work our ass off and it's hard to get a video, but old Raj found a special find and I wanted to do a video on the special find because he bought one and I went back and bought one and then I saw another thing he found and I bought that too. So first and foremost, Frederick Remington was a well-known painter back in the days and he did some beam decanters. Well, case in point, this one is the cowboy and the Indian. Well, the Raj has, old Raj has the Indian. I bought the cowboy one this morning. So it still has uh, the federal tax stamp and it has the state tax stamp on the shoulder. This is a decanter from 79 and it's the series that Beam did with Frederick Remington. So like I said I got the Indian, Raj got the, or I got the cowboy, Raj got the Indian and he tried this. He opened his bottle up and poured it out last night and had a glass and he said it was pretty darn good for being in a bottle that long and but it's still sealed. It has not been broken. It's not on this shoulder, but it's on this shoulder. It's sealed, and this is how Rogers was. So, I don't want to open that just yet. I am going to open it, though, and partake of it, because it's, Rogers said it was good. His. But this, I saw this a couple weeks ago on one of my bourbon pages I'm on. I'm like, dude, that'd be cool to find. And then Rog calls and said, hey, they got this here, too. And I'm like, really? So, I went back this morning, and along with this, and I got this. So, without further ado, I kind of got to put this up first, but I don't want to ruin it. But some of you bean people might know what I got. So, I'm going to put that right there real quick. And then, looky here, looky here, looky here, y'all. Let me get this out here without tearing it up. It's the beam train. Yes, and I believe I got all of the cars on the bean train. Maggie, hush. Sorry, my dog's in here. If she don't, she'll bark at the front door. So, with the bean train, with the locomotive, I'm not sure how this comes off. It's kind of like an unboxing type deal because I'm not sure how this comes off. So, I am with you guys 100% as far as like first time I'm not sure how to get that off I know it comes off somehow because the tax stamps right there and the state tax stamp is on the locomotive so this was 152 months Brian divide that by 12 how many years is that well 144 is 12 years so it's over 12 years old yeah. so gosh this stuff was if this is let me see 79 let me see yeah I'm 42 Okay, so this is 79, so this is 1979, so it's over 12 years old, so God, this stuff was distilled in the 60s. Sweet. Right on. So, that thing keeps coming out of that for some dang reason, but, either way, alright, so that's that, that's the... Now here is, yes folks, it is the coal car, or the coal tender. Now this does not have bourbon, well, it doesn't have a way to open it, but it has the thing on it, like it's, and it's just made out of the same Regal China, yeah, 1979, but there's no way to open this that I can see so I don't think and there's no liquid in this there's liquid in that I can tell that 100% so that goes oh yeah right there so that's that part this is freaking awesome I love it so there was one car or two cars rather that we're not even out of the box they're like not even out of the box but I'll get to them in a minute hold on I know this is the cart before the horse, but here's the, the that's the caboose, and here is the other, once again, 
These have the federal uh, federal stamp on the lid, and the state stamp is on here also. So here's this is like a passenger car, and the lid is right here. I, I just gotta figure out how to get. The, oh, there it is, right there, folks. Seal is not broke on that at all. Federal stamp, and you pour it. Now I don't know how the hell you're going to pour that out of there, but we're going to figure out a way because we are going to try this. We're going to save these for an episode, so all four of us around, and we're going to be trying some old-ass Jim Beam. Let's see how old this is. This is 150 months old. Jeez Louise. So this is like some really old bourbon. Now, I know it's not... It's 150 months aged in the barrel. I know it's not that old, you know, in the bottle, so don't... You know, don't put in the comments. Well, it ain't that old. It is that old, but it ain't aged that old. So, as much as these are phenomenal in all their uh, uh, glory, and they're good, but here's what is awesome. So, this box is open, but this thing's never been out of here. So, that's why I wanted to do like an unboxing. This thing is never on. I got this in the way Brian can't see. Sorry, Brian. I'll put this, man, you just got to be careful wanting to open that up. Uh, Alright, so, this still has the bean literature. This is Bean's baggage car bottle. Uh, oh, you slide the baggage car door. One does not. Sweet. Tilt and pour. Right on. That's what I'm screaming. And what it has in there, it says, do you know some bean bottles have a trading value? among collectors of over 3,000. Hmm. Oh, really? Because I picked this up for a hell of a deal. So, my, you know who you are, that guy I bought it from, if you're watching. Uh, I won't sell it, though. We're going to drink it. <laughs> I think he watches our shows. So we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the boxes, though. So this is another 150-month-old. 150-month-old uh, deal. Here's the bag that goes on top. Uh, now I'm hoping that this box and it does not. Dead gummit. Oh well. I was hoping these boxes had a piece of the track in it because all I have is these two pieces of track that came with it. But the guy I bought this from via a local store here in Manhattan, he found this in a storage locker somewhere. And dead gummit, I was really hoping there was a. Uh, a piece of track in there because I want to I want to set it up but I can set it up without a track I'm not afraid oh there it is folks right there slide the door open now this this has got a little uh, age to it as far as it's like discolored and fallen off but it's still full and the seal is still not broken and it has a federal one there and the state stamp there and you slide the side door the other side door slides, but there's no access port to it, so that's that trailer. Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, uh, I am going to, oh, they're different trailers, but they're still green. I am going to set it up without a uh, track. I'm trying to struggle here. Yeah. I like the track though, that's cool, but I don't want to get it stretched out across here. <laughs> I want to see what it does. Okay, so the baggage car would normally be in the back, right? But, yeah, or what? I don't know. I got to go because, or I got to go more here. There we go. Okay, now. All right. Now, this, oh yeah, I got one more car. Never been open. Seems to be never been open. The staples are still shut. And, uh, so this is the first opening. And this is the uh, the Beams Dining Car Bottle. Is that the same one as that one? But I just got a different. So maybe. Oh, it's got a dinner menu. That's pretty goddamn legit right there, man. You see that, BJ? And look at this. It's a little dinner menu from the Central Railroad of New Jersey. That's 
It says a typical dining car menu circa 1875. That's pretty badass, man. That's pretty awesome right there. So, I wonder why the track didn't come in the box, though. I wonder why. Oh, this plastic. Look at this plastic. It's just brittle. Just falls apart. You can't even pull it out. Look at this. It is just... It's raining plastic. Can you see that? Wow. That plastic is just falling apart. So I'm just going to pull it out with this. Once again, no track. No track, so I'm gonna get. Hold on, I gotta get this all cleaned up here. Oh yeah, this is like super brittle plastic, man. This is a pretty cool ass car, Brian. Or B Jack, sorry. Man, this stuff is just. Dude, they're mon dude, they're longer than my they're longer than my arm. Look, from my fingertips to my elbow. That's how big these cars are, bro. Yeah. <sighs> this car looks awesome, man. But I gotta get rid of all this plastic off the top of here. Oh yeah, that stuff is just stuck on there. This is a hundred months old. So this particular bottle isn't as old as the other stuff. Is the camera still going up? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that mess up here in a minute. <coughs> Kansas stamp on it. Let's see, how do we get in here? Oh, so it's like the green car. This slides off. Yep, this slides up front. Stamp still intact, not open, not broke. Lid still tight, it's pretty legit. Alright. Uh, Lit st seal still on, uh, federal tax stamp there, state tax stamp is right here on this side, they're all Kansas, right there is a the state tax stamp, these are some pretty, pretty cool cars man, these are awesome, so the green one and the red, the green car and this red car open up at the end, this car opens up, no, this car opens up at the end. This car is in the middle. This car opens up at the end. And I'll show you the caboose here pretty quick. Hold on. Is that mine? Mm -hmm. That's your phone. Where's the back? Oh, where have you been sitting down in there? Okay, now to the caboose. To the caboose. This thing, Brian, this goes across the whole bar, dude. <laughs> and the barrels. Yeah, hold on. Alright, uh, so the red car. <clears throat> so yeah, the red car, this, I'm going to call this the, the riding car. Oh wait, what's it say on there? Oh, yeah, this has got to be the passenger car, the dining car, the baggage car. So the baggage car and the dining car, or the dining car and the passenger car, both open on the end, and you pour out of the end. Then this one is out of the side here, still sealed. So we're gonna connect that up. This thing is monstrous, guys. Jeez Louise. Uh, so that goes there, and. Last but certainly not least, the caboose. You get a good shot of the caboose or no? Um, bring it around front. So this is the caboose. It is 
Still got the seal on the top. Uh, where's the can? Oh, Kansas seal right there. So that's pretty sweet. This is held another 150 months old. So I think they're all 150, except the dining car's 100. That's 150, and the train is 152. So 152, 150, 150, 100. No, 100, 150, and what I say this was? 100, I think. 150. No, sorry. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy, man. Some 12 year old aged bourbon in these bottles that have been sealed up since 79 when they made this. Well, that, that is just phenomenal. What's that, BJ? 12.5 yeah, years. 12.5 years. So that's the train together. One, two, three, four, five bottles in the train. And then the coal tender, it's it's made out of the Regal China like the other ones are, but there's nothing in here. There's not a, there's no lid, there's no, I can't take that off. If somebody knows other than me, let me know. But I'm pretty sure this is not a bottle of bourbon. Uh, they all have the Kansas ta uh, tax stamp on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, they all have the federal tax stamp, which is really cool. I got the original box. I'll probably just throw the original boxes away. They're just old and that plastic. I don't know if you can see back here. That plastic is all over the place from that one deal. But it was cool to see this in there. That this little dinner menu thing. That The stuff they came with it when Jim Beam did this. It's got wine and uh, liquor. And, uh, and from 1875. Did they have Budweiser beer? Wait. Budweiser lager. Beery. Very fine. Did they have Budweiser in 1875? I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, but they have wine, a wine list, champagne, soldering, whatever the hell that is. I have no idea. Uh, they have some brandies on here. Oh, you know what they do have on here? The Old Tub Sour Mash Bourbon is listed on here. You know, that's their revival. Jim Beam did the revival of the Old Tub back last year in 2020. So, and this bottle... Like I said, Roger has the brother to this bottle, which is the Frederick Remington Indian that he poured out of last night, and he said it's pretty. It was pretty damn tasty. So, uh, yeah. So look for an episode of this. We're gonna get. I'm gonna get with Ken and get this video just like semi-edited and put up of this unboxing, and then look for a video. We're gonna have the whole crew here. And we're going to be drinking out of every one of these. And try. I'll probably break this open beforehand. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to try these. I'm not. I still got to figure out how to get the locomotive open. But I'll do that. I won't bore you guys with that today. But that's going to have to be. Other than that, these other ones are pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's going to be weird pouring out of the side of a train car. Or the end of a train car. Huh, B-Jack? But <laughs> we'll get it done. So that's my haul today. Uh... It was uh, under 250 bucks for all of it. I didn't pay over 250 bucks for all of it. And don't know what it's worth. I don't, I mean, not that I don't care what it's worth. I know it's probably worth a lot to some people. But, I mean, we're going to try them. We're going to drink it. I got too many bottles to not drink it. Got to give it a shot. So, that's it for now. I just want to do an unboxing real quick of this gym that I found. Literally right under our nose is a... Uh, Maybe you saw Fred on here a couple of times. You know, and Fred was always on the hunt in Manhattan for some old bourbon that was in decanters or that was in bottles for some of these folks in Manhattan. And this was uh, pretty much under our nose the whole time at this uh, small little store in Manhattan. Did they say how long so, it had been there? No, but the guy I bought it from is a friend of mine, and, I can, and I'll ask him. So maybe, so hopefully I'll have an answer how long he's had it there. Uh, when we do a show on these so we know how long it would have been sitting there at a particular store uh, here in Manhattan and uh, yeah be pretty pretty legit so that's it for now on this but man this is gonna be cool my idea is to put a shelf up here and put it up here so it could be like a centerpiece or but I don't have to just see how it works out but that's cool. the idea so but all right, cool. Well, thanks, guys, and we'll uh, 
like I said, once again, sorry we haven't been filming a lot, but we've just been busy with work and uh, everything else. But we'll get together soon, and we'll get this video done, and then we'll get we'll get it out to you guys. See you, man.